Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue rectangle uh, OCDE fully inscribed in a quarter circle with the center O as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this OB is the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle and it is uh, 12 units. And moreover, the blue rectangle uh, perimeter has been given to us as uh, 32 units. And uh, CE is the diagonal of this uh, blue rectangle. And now our task is uh, to calculate the perimeter of this uh, yellow shaded region. We are talking about this uh, yellow shaded uh, region over here. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, blue rectangle uh, OCDE. We are going to label uh, the sides uh, of this blue rectangle. I'm going to call this side uh, lowercase a, this side uh, lowercase b. Then this side is going to be lowercase a as well. And likewise this side is going to be lowercase b. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OB is the radius uh, of this quarter circle and it is uh, 12 units. And we can see that this uh, AO is the radius uh, of this quarter circle as well. So therefore, uh, this uh, length is going to be 12 units uh, as well. And here in this uh, next step, I have added uh, this uh, another diagonal uh, OD of this uh, blue rectangle. And now we can see that this uh, diagonal uh, OD is uh, same as uh, this uh, diagonal uh, CE. Their lengths are uh, same. And furthermore, uh, we can see that this diagonal OD is actually the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle. And we know the radius of this quarter circle is 12. So therefore, this uh, OD length has got to be 12 units as well. And since uh, these two diagonals uh, have equal length, uh, so therefore uh, this uh, CE diagonal length is going to be 12 units uh, as well. So therefore we concluded uh, that this uh, diagonal uh, CE length is uh, 12. And now we are going to calculate uh, this uh, tiny vertical length uh, AC. And this length is going to be equal to this whole uh, length is uh, 12 minus uh, this uh, side length is uh, B. So therefore this uh, AC segment length is going to be 12 minus B. And likewise we are going to calculate uh, this uh, segment uh, length EB. We know this whole uh, radius uh, is uh, 12. This segment uh, OE length is uh, lowercase a. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining segment EB length uh, has got to be 12 uh, minus uh, lowercase a. And we know that uh, this blue rectangle perimeter has been given to us as uh, 32. And the perimeter of this uh, blue rectangle is going to be simply lowercase a plus b plus lowercase a and plus uh, lowercase b as well. We are going to add all these uh, side lengths. So therefore, if we add all these uh, side lengths, uh, so the blue rectangle uh, perimeter is going to be 2 times lowercase a plus uh, 2 times uh, lowercase b is going to be equal to 32. And now we can see both of these uh, terms are divisible by 2. So therefore, I'm going to divide each and every term by 2 across the board. So therefore, uh, they reduce each other. So therefore, we are going to have lowercase a plus lowercase b value turns out to be 16. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number one. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this yellow shaded region perimeter is going to be equal to this quarter circle circumference plus uh, this segment uh, AC, plus uh, this segment uh, CE, and finally this segment uh, EB, as you can see in this given equation. 
and now our task is uh, to calculate uh, the circumference of this uh, quarter circle before we could calculate uh, the perimeter of this uh, yellow shaded region let's go ahead and calculate uh, the circumference of this uh, quarter circle and now let's recall the circumference uh, formula of the whole circle is uh, 2 times pi r where lowercase r is the radius of the circle and in our case uh, the radius uh, of this quarter circle is 12 so therefore uh, the quarter circle circumference is going to be 2 times uh, pi times uh, our radius uh, is 12 and since we are dealing with this quarter circle so we are going to divide it by 4 and if we simplify the right hand side uh, that is going to give us uh, 6 uh, times uh, pi so thus the quarter circle circumference turns out to be 6 times pi units and here's our final step let's recall this equation once again the yellow shaded region uh, perimeter is going to be equal to the quarter circle circumference plus uh, AC segment length plus uh, CE segment length and finally plus EB segment length and we can see our this quarter circle circumference is 6 times pi segment uh, AC length is 12 minus B the diagonal uh, CE length uh, is 12 and finally this segment uh, EB length is 12 minus A so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, equation our quarter circle circumference is uh, 6 uh, times uh, pi plus our uh, AC segment length is uh, 12 minus uh, B plus our uh, CE length uh, is uh, 12 and plus finally our segment EB length is uh, 12 minus uh, lowercase a and here we can see 12 plus 12 plus 12 is going to give us uh, 36 so therefore uh, we can add them up so I can say 6 times pi plus uh, 36 and now let's focus on this uh, minus a and minus uh, b I can put them together and I can write as uh, if I factor negative outside so that is going to give us uh, a plus b and now let's focus on this equation one we know our a plus b value is uh, 16 so therefore I'm going to substitute uh, that a plus b value 16 over here so therefore we can write uh, 6 times uh, pi plus uh, 36 uh, minus uh, 16 and now we can see 36 minus 16 is going to give us uh, 20 so therefore our this uh, yellow shaded region uh, perimeter turns out to be 6 uh, pi plus uh, 20 units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the yellow shaded region uh, perimeter turns out to be 6 pi plus 20 units and that is going to be approximately equal to 38.85 units uh, as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye